So I often get uh, questions about how to resize an entire um, SVG file. And sometimes it's not easy to size up. Sizing down is really easy, so I'm going to show you how to do that with this um, project I already have saved. Um, so if you open up a file, if you upload everything, we have a file on how to upload. If you're just wanting to uh, resize after you get it prepped, that means you have the um, score lines set up the way you want, meaning they're set to score and attached. So if you look at here, if we look at the layers, you can see that if I highlight that, I already have them set to score. And um, they're attached, so the score lines will score where they need to. And then the rest of it. So the best way to um, to do this, let's just go ahead. It's easy to size down, so I'm going to highlight everything after it's prepped. If you want to size it down, make it smaller, these are just going to be your saving grace as far as the grids. So I know they're not very dark, but this is 12 right here. Um, so if I pull it up like this, let's go down to um, 4. So we're going to go ahead and just drag your finger over everything to highlight everything. And then make sure it's locked in the corner. Oops, let's go ahead. If you see in the corner there's a lock, so if I click on it, it unlocks it. Make sure it's locked. The padlock looks like it's locked. Then right here and just drag it down and it'll proportionally resize it down. Okay, so if you didn't have that locked, it would only it would kind of go everywhere which way and then it wouldn't go together correctly. So I'm gonna undo that back to its original size. So the way this file is set up, if you want to make it larger, it's not gonna be really easy because if I make it larger and go like this and say make it, it's gonna give us this. Okay, so it really has to do with this particular thing. It's it's bigger than the mat size, and that's the reason why we're getting that. So it's not going to work because it's 13.2 inches. It's 12 by 13, so that's not going to work. It would work if it were like 10 by 13 because it could use a bigger mat, but that's not that's not the case. So let's go ahead and undo. So let's say we wanted it bigger because you know this is a free box and I want it just slightly bigger than what it is. Well the way I set it up is that um, you can ungroup this so currently it's attached. So I'm going to detach it. Go Actions. I'm going to detach it. So it makes these two... Um, we're going to ungroup it now. So we'll have these as two separate items. See, so there's two separate groups now. But what we need to do is still attach the score lines on those individual ones. So we're going to attach the score lines after ungrouping. So the score lines will go where they need to. And they still move independently. So now, when I resize it, so let's just look at this. This size is 8, eight by 6, 8. Six, I'm sorry, 6.6 6 by 8. 0.68. So let's go ahead and highlight everything and we can just go a little larger. So what you want to do is pay attention to how large you go. So I'm going to go look at it now. This is the biggest one and that's 10.9. So basically you're so you're limited by the largest um, cutout on a project. So when you resize it up um, we have to make sure that the largest item is less than 11.5 by 11.5 so I'm going to just make it a little bit larger uncheck it and then I'm going to look at this and it's 8.64 so I could go a little larger but now when I click make it you see how much larger it is and they're showing up it'll separate everything and put it on the mats so that's the basic way of resizing if you did need additional information additional assistance you could always contact us via our contact form. Um, if this did help you please give me a little thumbs up on the video below and or um, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope it helped a few.